Okay, coast trail. Let's try that. Another like diamond around the Garda Lake with a lot of loose rock. <laughs> Very uh, enduro-esque according to all the, uh, the reports online. At least they're uh, quite bumpy here in the beginning. It has been raining quite a lot these uh, last few days here at Lake Garda, so uh, let's see how uh, slippery the rocks are and the roots for that matter. Not like I'm finding perfect traction, to be honest. Ooh. Like the upper part here of uh, the coast trail is classical Garda Lake enduro riding in loose pebble and like medium sized rocks that are also loose. Arrows quite a bit, a bit more technical. We almost lost it there. Buongiorno. Ciao! It steepens a bit here. A nice section. Ah. Ah. And then some gravel road. Now where do we continue? Ah, here. You'll find uh, the coast trail by by riding up from, from Tabola up to up via uh, via Monte Baldo towards uh, towards Monte Alvisimo. Then you come to a big house and you can see the staircase that makes the entry to the trail. It's a long uh, climb, but I think so far at least it's worth it. You can also ride all the way up to uh, up to uh, Monte Alcesimo and then do the uh, Malga Campo Trail down to Refugio Campai, I think the name is, um, for a real long descent. I think maybe it will make up like 10 kilometers or 12 or something like that by combining that with the uh, with the coast trail. Uh, steep corners. Ooh. Ah, damn. 
have to put my foot down there. That was deep. <laughs> Whew. And then a steep, steep rock slab onto a really tight corner and then back on the train. Whew. For sure, black diamond. Rough trail. Ah, ah not today. Oops. Live in. Oh, that's a lot of loose rock. <laughs> and a couple of big ones you would definitely like to avoid going down the trail. Definitely some steep. Oops. <sighs> Too tight on the brakes there. This is like super steep. Uh, I have to do this. Really, really controlled and focused. <clears throat> here. Have to get off the bike here for a while, I see. <laughs> so 
some tight switchbacks. Actually, actually quite nice. <laughs> Uh, and another fence. Let's walk down so we don't end up in that. <sighs> Let's get back on the bike. The coast trail is supposed to be a really scenic trail with a great view out of the Legata. So uh, really looking forward to that. Oops, here we go. Trail. Ghosts! <laughs> Don't want to run too fast here into those corners. Ah. Guess I have to jump off for this small part. <clears throat> yeah, that was okay. This is what you what you do find here at Lake Garda. There's some natural features, the trails are not groomed or anything so you need to work with what you got and sometimes you need to accept getting off the bike Let's continue this small adventure. That'll work. Ah. Ah. Could have written that in here in the inner line. But anyway, too late. There 
Where's Kid Lake Gara? What an amazing view! <laughs> That's hard keeping your eyes on the trail and not the, <laughs> not on the, the lake down below. That's amazing. Pretty, pretty loose gravel and pebble and small rocks. The bigger rocks are for sure dry. Slap onto a tight corner. Oh. <laughs> Missed that. Missed that completely. Oh, and another rock slap. And another tight corner. Whoa. This is this is serious stuff. Those off cambers are really slippery. Nah, have really steep uh, drops here. So off the bike again. That's definitely above my my skill level, to be honest. So better play it a bit safe and just walk down instead of trying to do something and overcommit. Deep respect for people who like that. But it's always a trade-off, right? Being a weekend warrior like me <laughs> versus like people who ride down here all the time. I'm just here for holidays. So not necessarily riding, riding defensively and, and unsafe, but on the other hand, don't push it too far. Like in Denmark, where I'm from, we don't have stuff like this. That's more loam and forest, forest trails. Mm. And stuff like that. to some more mellow mellow ground
maybe that marks the end of the coast trail. Let's jump off here.